Hi YouTube, I am back with a haul video from a major haul I got in Palm Desert um, at the Angel View Clearance Center. So check it out if you guys are ever in Palm Springs, Palm Desert. I think it was specifically Desert Hot Springs. Um, everything was either a dollar, all the clothing items were a dollar or less. Um, so I got three great ties there. Um, this one is Bristol Bay, cute. Um, this one is Robert Talbot for Nordstrom's, like a vintage with pheasants, really cute. Um, and this one's all silk from England. It has like a little crest on it. I just thought it was cute and since it was all silk and it's called the something tie, the roll tie. So I'll have to do some research before posting that one. Um, and now I'm going to get to this big pile of clothes for you. Madewell size large mustard sweater. Vintage Tommy jeans sweater. Um, some of the vintage is doing pretty well. Um, I did get a lot of what I want to call wild card items just to throw them up on auction on eBay and see how they do when things are you know, really cheap, I tend to do that. So this is one of those items. Um, the film crew for the Titanic down in Mexico. Um, it is a little spotted, so I do need to do a load of laundry with some of this stuff too. Um, I got this wool Tommy Hilfiger blazer. It's super cute and a big size, and so I thought that one would do pretty well. Um, I got this Eddie Bauer. It's like brand new. Um, I love this military green. Um, and it's like a little hiking or outdoorsy button up. It's cute. Um, I got this Guinness Rugby long sleeve. Um, I guess these were doing somewhat well on eBay, so we'll put it up there and see how it goes. Otherwise, my boyfriend's gonna keep it. That was, that was his find and his talk me into. Um, I got this Youth Columbia jacket in really good shape again a dollar you can't go wrong for Columbia um, I haven't sold this brand it's Solumbria but the comps were pretty decent and again for a buck I need to wash it um, and steam it and throw it up on eBay um, I got this Aeropostale I don't normally get this brand but I thought this was super cute and it's new with tags it has a $60 tag on it um, so I should at least be able to get 20 or so out of that on posh um this on the bays this is a bolo so be on the lookout for this guy um if you look up the solds on this this sweater sold on posh is going for like 60 to 80 bucks so i really didn't know that i just thought it looked like good quality and i looked it up and this like actual like wolf sweater is going for a good price um this is another one i'm excited about this one is brand new with tags it's a Min Finders Keepers Disney's Aladdin. Um, it's with Neff. It's the Neff N E F F. It's like popular um, collaboration with Disney. So this one is brand new with tags. So I haven't looked up the comps, but I know Disney and the Neff are going for some money. So that was a really popular collaboration. Um, this one is not a brand and doesn't have a size on it. Actually, I didn't look in it, so maybe it does. Um, nope, it doesn't. But I'll either keep this one for myself or maybe wear it once and then throw it up on posh. It's just a cute, um, like boho top. This next item is a J. Crew sweater. Um, this one will either be put on posh or I'll give it to my mom. Sometimes I like to pick her up business type stuff, and so that J. Crew is pretty cute. Um, these pants, I don't know if you can see the bottoms of them. I've never sold. Um, the material is super soft and the comps were really good on eBay. I haven't looked on Posh yet, but it's Brian Walker, B-R-Y-N Walker. So buy these if you ever get them. Um, if you ever see them, I, I think it's just kind of an expensive like niche market. I've never sold them, um, but we'll see how they do. Um, this one, Taking Back Sunday Band Tee, it looks like an original. So I'm gonna need to wash it, but other than that, um, we'll put that up and, and see what that band tee does. Uh, Emu, I know the comps are kind of all over the place on this, but I thought it was cute. I did notice after the fact there's a small hole in it, so we'll just put it up for auction and see what it does. 
this one is a great find for a buck. Couldn't believe it. It's Kate Spade, um, little cardigan. So it's in really good shape. Just a plain Kate Spade, like periwinkle, three quarter length sleeve, uh, size medium cardigan. This is an Ann Taylor size medium off white, kind of like a cami um, for business. I'll give this one to my mom. She's always looking for an off white cami for work. Um, again, this is juicy. I don't normally pick up this brand, but this one is new with tags. Um, and this one actually says Kohl's, which I had no idea Juicy was sold at Kohl's, but that kind of makes sense. Um, it's just kind of like a cotton dress, shift dress, shirt dress, um, but it, I only got it because it was new with tags for 48 so we'll see if I can't get, you know, 20 or so out of that Juicy. And that one was a size medium. Um, I got this Vince sweater, three-quarter length sleeve, kind of oversized button-up sweater. This one's a size medium. Super cute. Um, I did get some good golf stuff. You can always find some good golf um, brands in the desert. I did actually get a, a Travis Matthews hat that I already sold for 15 on Poshmark and I think I paid 50 cents for it. So this is a double X Travis Matthews golf tee. Um, Travis Matthews is pretty popular um, with the golf. Um, this is another uh, one that I'm really liking. It's 100% cashmere. It's an Aileen Tracy. So no holes. It's in good shape. So that was a good find for a buck. Moving on. This was kind of a wild card that I got. It's a Tumble and Asher um, London, England. And it says it was made by the appointed to the HRH, the Prince of Wales shirt maker. So that just sounded fancy, so, and the shirt was kind of different and cool, so I took a gamble on this one. I haven't looked it up, but we'll see how that one does. Um, if nothing else, it'll just go to auction on eBay. Another Madewell sweater. This one's a little crop sweater, size extra small. Should do well on Posh. Um, I've never sold this brand before, um, and the comps are kind of all over the place, but again, for a dollar field flower. I just thought the giraffes were super cute. It almost reminds me of a Kate Spade. Um, so I picked it up. It totally reminds me of a Kate Spade cardigan. So we'll see how that one does. I just thought it was cute for a giraffe lover. Um, I did get another band tee, the Misfits. It's kind of like a muscle tank. I just thought it was super cute. So we'll see how that one does. Um, I got two Cabela's jackets. Um, it's kind of like that hunting outdoorsman. This one is a woman's. It's like a maroon, just like heavy jacket for a buck. Can't go wrong. Um, and then I did get this one. This is like a vintage Cabela's as well. Um, this one needs to be cleaned up too. So we'll get these washed and then lift this. Like this is super 80s, like puffer jacket, but it's really cute. And I think all the vintage stuff is, you know, pretty popular right now. Um, on with that train is kind of a vintage UCLA hoodie. College stuff tends to do well, so I got that. Um, a vintage Coast Guards crew neck, the back with the stripes. Um, some of these have sold for pretty high returns on eBay, so we'll get that one washed. Um, another college one, a USC Trojans, that's full garb or paraphernalia tends to do well and this is that Russell Athletic um, that you know all the colleges use for their sweaters so we'll see how that does. Um, this is either somebody will wear it or they'll wear it for Halloween. This is that Harley Quinn jacket from the Suicide Squad so we'll get that put up on Posh and eBay and see how that one does. So much stuff. <laughs> I'm getting towards the bottom of it all, which is good. Um, another jacket, I'm not familiar with this brand. It's like a cycling jacket um, and it has some pretty good comps on it. So I picked this up. Um, this is kind of how you learn, you know, something looks like it might do well or looks like it's for a specific sport. Um, you know, you research it and then find out what it does. I got this W5 tank. Um, I have a couple of these other tees that are the similar pattern. These are from Anthropology, so I did pick that guy up. Um, I got this Ralph Lauren 
flannel. It's super cute and it's in really good condition. So I know Ralph Lauren's kind of hit or miss, but can be pretty popular. Um, this is another Chaps Ralph Lauren tee. We'll just see how that one does. It's super lightweight men's plaid tee. Um, this is the Viper Room, another band tee um, with this little question mark on the back. Um, there was a hoodie of this that sold for quite a bit on eBay, so we picked it up and we'll see how that does. Um, I got this Blair. This is another vintage brand. Um, I just really like this. The comps are not good on this brand, but I just thought this Southwest print was like super unique and I feel like somebody who's into dressing vintage um, would be into this blazer. So that's why I picked that up. And the last clothing item, but not le least, is this is an evening by ECI um, top. It's super cute. This actually also reminds me of like a Kate Spade, um, like with the see-through sleeves. So I thought this was really cute um, and it's an anthro piece, so we'll see how that does. So that's my big haul. I did leave out um, the shoes because I've already listed them. Um, none of them were that great, um, but I did get you know, a handful of shoes and all the shoes were two bucks. And then I'll show you this item I got for myself. It's like a beach towel, like a cloth beach towel. I need to wash it, but it's super cute. Um, sorry so <laughs> this one will be for me for the summer it's like a nice thick cotton blanket like beach towel and this is by peacock alley i have to look up this brand i'm not sure um how it's doing but that is it and i hope you guys enjoyed it leave me any feedback or questions in the comments and thanks for watching